Well, we don't have to tell you, 2020 has been a difficult year on so many different fronts. Many of us are searching for ways to cope and learning and leaning on our faith. Well, today we have a special report from Paula Tutman, who assembled a group of faith leaders looking for a spiritual flashlight to light the way for all of us. Today and every day, a group of interfaith leaders in the metro area are asking, what are you mourning? Is it that you've lost a loved one from COVID or your business or your job or your home? Did you miss a wedding or a funeral? Did your candidate lose? Do you feel hopeless? What we usually fill our fears with is some sort of controlling act that uh, may pretend to us to get control of it. And that's one of the reasons I think that we've been devolving. Today, we look for small ways to heal big wounds in an interfaith roundtable of religious and spiritual leaders, a bishop, a reverend, an imam, a rabbi, a Sikh, an activist, and the conveyor of a group that meets regularly and is taking on the issue of healing. It began a long time ago with systemic racism that began to mushroom as we went into a political season that has existed. And then it was capped off with a pandemic called COVID-19. And all agree that if we can narrow down to the most granular level possible, we as a people are grieving. Um, the pandemic brought out things that were already bubbling under the surface. So we must first identify the source or sources of our personal grief. We must dig deeper and we must be willing to help. And then with a mindful purpose, do the heavy climb uphill to look for ways to heal our own grief enough to reach out and assist in the grief of others. I think we have to look at each other and see the good in each other and recognize all of these amazing things that are happening out there, how we are feeding the hungry and how we are helping people find homes and how we are facing racism. I want to talk to somebody who doesn't agree with us or with me. Um, if I want to talk to somebody who doesn't believe we're all equally human, who doesn't believe we're all connected and who doesn't believe that my actions are affecting everybody else. If you think about vaccination, it's there to create an immunity in you. And that's what I'm moving forward with in the new year. It's not just a physical vaccination from a COVID virus. It's a spiritual vaccination that we all need. And that spiritual vaccination is something we have to give ourselves every single time we have a thought that's not aligned with our humanity. A vaccination works because you get some of the virus and then you build the antibodies. And I feel like naming the fear is the beginning of um, being able to create those antibodies. Console one another, help one another uh, to the best of our abilities so we can emerge once again, once this pandemic is over and we will emerge hopefully stronger than we were before. You know, it's really fascinating to listen to these faith leaders navigate how they want to talk to their houses of worship, and hopefully that, that message goes out into the community. Also, listening to their goggles, uh, taking it out of anger, Karen, and looking at it as grief in order to help one another and vaccinate ourselves against our own demons. So many interesting perspectives there, and I really like that part where you're mentioning about identifying that grief, what you are dealing with, and then how you're reacting many times in fear. A very, very important conversation to be had. Thank you, Paula.